Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will look at an LTI, an ALTI system that is represented by an ordinary differential equation. Specifically, we will learn how to use Laplace transform to represent the output in S domain. That is, we will derive an expression for Y of S. So, consider the ordinary differential equation that represents a LTI system. This is nth order derivative of Y of T plus summation K equal to 0 to n minus 1 a k and the kth derivative of y of t is equal to the sum l equal to 0 to m b l lth derivative of the input x of t given zero initial conditions that is x of 0, the first derivative at t equal to 0, that is the initial value of the first derivative, the initial value of the second derivative, and all the m minus 1 derivatives are equal to 0. We want to prove that the Laplace transform y of s can be written as the ratio of the polynomials b of s and a of s multiplied by x of s plus 1 over a of s multiplied by i of s where a of s the polynomial is equal to k equal to 0 to n a k s power k and a n is equal to 1 and the polynomial b of s is equal to the sum l equal to 0 to m b l s power l and finally the sum i of s is equal to k equal to 1 to n a k and again summation m equal to 0 to k minus 1 s power k minus m minus 1 and mth derivative at t equal to 0 or the initial value of the mth derivative. So now we want to derive the expression for Laplace transform y of s. Now note that the ordinary differential equation represent, given here has three terms. The first one is nth derivative of y of t and second one is a weighted sum of the kth derivatives from k equal to 0 to n minus 1 and similarly a weighted sum of lth derivatives of the input x of t. So we have to find the Laplace transform or the Laplace transforms of these terms separately. For the first one, there is the Laplace transform of the nth derivative is by definition equal to s power n and y of s plus minus s power n minus 1 and the initial value of the output that is y of 0 y of 0 and then we have minus s power n minus 2 initial value of the first derivative and so on and the last term is n minus 1 the derivative the initial value of the n minus 1 derivative so this is the laplace transform of the nth derivative next we have the laplace transform of the weighted sum this summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 a k and the kth derivative of y of t. Note that for k equal to 0, this is not a derivative, it's actually the function itself. So for the first term that is a0, we only have y of s. And for the second term onwards, that is from k equal to 1 to n minus 1, we have a k multiplied by the Laplace transform of the kth derivative. So this is equal to a0 y of s plus the sum k equal to 1 to n a k multiplied by s power k y of s minus s power k minus 1 y of 0 minus s power k minus 2 and the initial value of the first derivative and so on. The last term is the k minus 1 to derivative. That is the initial value of the k minus 1 to derivative. Now we can actually combine the Laplace transforms of these two terms as follows. That is the sum of the Laplace transform of the nth derivative and the that of the weighted sum of the kth derivatives. can be combined as follows. That is, 
we basically add all the terms that have y of s as a common term. So the first one is y of s multiplied by s power n plus a0 plus the sum k equal to 1 to n a k s power k that is the first term and then the rest of the terms that is the terms that consists of y of 0, y1 of 0 and so on up to yk minus 1 of 0 with the sum from k equal to 1 to n a k that is the weighted sum from k equal to 1 to n a k multiplied by these products sum of the products you can rewrite that sum as follows that is it can be written as minus summation k equal to 1 to n a k multiplied by the sum m equal to 0 to k minus 1 that is for m equal to 0 we have y of 0 and for m equal to 1 we have the first derivative that is y mth derivative the initial value of the mth derivative and then we have s power k minus m minus 1 that is for m equal to 0 it is s power k minus 1 and for m equal to 1 it is s power k minus 2 and for m equal to k minus 1 it is s power 0 which is 1 that is the coefficient of this last term so this is the summation representing all the initial values of the output y of t and its derivatives and now we can rewrite this sum as y of s multiplied by and this sum can be clearly seen as the polynomial a of s here we can clearly see that the polynomial a of s is equal to the sum k equal to 0 to n a k s power k so by comparing that with the coefficient of y of s here that is we have summation from k equal to 0 to n where a n is equal to 1 this is clearly equal to the polynomial a of s so this is y of s multiplied by a of s and the second term is clearly equal to i of s that is the i of s the polynomial i of s defined here so this is the laplace transform of the first two terms on the left hand this is the laplace transform of the left hand side of the ordinary differential equation mentioned in the beginning that is the laplace transform of this sum is clearly equal to y of s multiplied by a of s minus i of s therefore the lhs in the s domain can be represented as y of s into a of s minus i of s so this is the laplace transform of the lhs of the original ordinary differential equation and of the initial ordinary differential equation and now for the second uh, for the right hand side that is the laplace transform of the weighted sum k equal excuse me l equal to 0 to m b l and l th derivative of x of t and since all the initial values of the x of t and its derivatives are zeros we can just write the laplace transform as the laplace transform of the weighted sum as the weighted sum of the corresponding laplace transforms that is summation l equal to 0 to m b l and then we have s power l into x of s and all the other terms are basically zeros based on the zero initial conditions and since this sum is clearly equal to the polynomial b of s b of s is the polynomial polynomial b of s given here so the right hand side the laplace transform of the right hand side is given by b of s multiplied by x of s therefore the final equation is y of s into a of s minus i of s is equal to b of s into x of s and upon simple transformation we have y of s is equal to b of s over a of s that is the ratio of the polynomials multiplied by the laplace transform of the input and we have plus i of s divided by a of s so this is the representation of the output in the s domain y of s is equal to b of s over a of s into x of s plus i of s over a of s and simply by using the inverse laplace transform formula we can determine the output y of t can be represented by inverse laplace transform of the right hand side thus we can use laplace transform to determine the output of a complex differential equation thanks for watching